morning birds. How are we again today my friends? Welcome back everyone. Hope you're good. Yes. Now there's an obvious change to today's attire. Being the lilac hair. Now, meant to be lilac. It is a very faded tone of lilac. But this is a bird video so we'll show about that. Hope you guys have been great. It's wonderful to have you all here. Guys, uh, we're just doing a vlogging series. We're not trying to edit these videos lots and lots. Uh, but we're doing um, a little daily update video on the daily life of running a little breeding and a little aviary here and a little aviary setup. But everything's going great. Thank you guys and girls for all the comments, the views, everything. You guys are absolutely brilliant. So thank you so much for all that. Okay, so let's crack on. Today's video, we have a special guest. There he is down the bottom. Do you see him? I think it's a her. Guys, if you didn't know, check back a few videos back. We had some budgies in that nest box on the right hand side there, underneath where the canaries are. Um, and that budgie yesterday, guys and girls, left the nest box. For the very first time, our budgie left the nest box. Absolutely stunning. It's like a creamy, yellowy, like a sorbet colour. She is stunningly nice. Uh, so yesterday I said that. I didn't check yesterday's video, she was keep, it's alright, we're doing a cleaning video in about two or three days, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a video on cleaning all the floor up as well, guys, and that sort of stuff. So she was hiding behind, um, that's a, that was our bay tree over there on the right, that's a bamboo tree on the left. So um, yeah, she was doing a great job of hiding behind there, so uh, yesterday we popped down um, a little green buffet, so that she could have um, some food there, the canaries were on it, um, now some seeds so she can have some seed. I put some millet sprays down there yesterday. Let's open the door. I don't know why I'm peering through there. There we go. Move that table out of the way. I'm always ramming for space here, guys. It's so nice. But one day, guys and girls, we'll, we'll move somewhere a little bigger and we can expand our little, our little operation. There's Big Blue at the back. Nice hen that is, she's a good old hen you know she is. We've never ever had a chip off her, ever. But I've just kept her because she's such a nice bird. She's not tame or nothing but... Look at her necklace. You see her necklace? I think she, I think she was an old show bird. So she's got a nice necklace, they're the little pearls. Can I zoom in? Yeah. There, you see the little necklace there? If you were showing them guys, you would cut out the worst ones. A little spot there, you cut out those. You'd just leave the nice big pearls, maybe four or five showing. And that white stuff top of her head, that's called blow. She's got a good blow, that's called, in the buggy world. Good stance, and she's a little bit hunched, really, but she's, a, she's an old bird now. But anyway, so yesterday, that young budgie over there, absolutely, I'm trying to get as close to the camera that's starting, because she's not tame, guys. She's an ivory bird. She's literally, we should call her snowy or something. She's got the faintest touch of yellow to her, imaginable. She's so nice. So yeah, yesterday she was running around and hiding behind there, so you put some food down for her. Hello. Come on in. Oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Okay. That's what I didn't want to happen. Do you see where she's gone? Oh. I'm going to have to enter the hole. <laughs> Bottom of the ivory out now to get that bit of that. But that's okay. This is why, my friends, you should always be careful of what you keep in your bird room and around your pets. Um, just in case they're on. Well, I'll get her later. Don't worry about her. She'll be, she'll be in here tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Uh, we filled up our feeders and drinkers and all that sort of stuff yesterday. We got some new water in there and uh, we put some new water in the bottom one. The, the green one over there, yellow face, he's a new budgie. If you don't know, he, it's his brother there. See them? They're brothers. So he's a nice bird. He's got a nice little necklace. Look, you see the little red, the little uh, round black dots. They're really quite nice. So we've got some more crest to give them today. Uh, no, in fact, we'll leave it. We'll give it another day because there's still lots of shoots there. Look, we can eat. Um, we brought some more kale as well today. We, we buy this kale pretty regular. It's always a clearance thing, but I don't know why this has gone up. Okay, it's 56 p. I'm not going to open the door, but there's some more outside, and that's 67p for the same sort of stuff. Okay. All right, it's playing on my mind. So we're going to get this bird out. Okay, so I will, unfortunately, I have to edit this. I don't want to edit any videos, really, but I'll have to edit this. And, and um, the, the next time you see me, I'll have my hands here. Ready? I think it might be a male, you know, look. Such a pretty bird, but 
we don't really hand time any of our birds. I, I'd hand time if it was slightly bigger, like uh, cockatiels and stuff, but I think it might just be a bit angry. But it survived anyway, guys. We had to move them if you didn't know because the buddy inside there, and I, there. She was, she was a bit naughty to them. She attacked them. You can just see the remnants of it on the back of her neck. We'll call her a her. Although it's looking like a him, you know. And if it is, that's great because his dad was an absolute stunner. Right, let's put let's put him back. Ready. Go. Straight down. <laughs> and straight beyond the pot. But there we go, so he's got food. Well, I'm gonna do change of water out again, don't worry about that. Um and then that's like a daily thing. Just give your seed a little blow. There we go. Good to go. There's some more egg biscuit in there. Let's put some egg biscuit in there. But so I hope you've all been good, you guys and girls. It's so nice for you all to stop by the video. This gets them in breeding condition, guys, if you don't know what this is. Uh, it's just a combination of hemp seed, uh, a bit of black millet, a bit of the, um, the black millet there, vitamins, Aye. Put everything in there, look at all that stuff. We'll get some new millet sprays. So the old millet sprays, I normally bend them in half. And guys, top tip here. This is a top tip for you lovebird keepers. Now, you must leave these in with the lovebirds. Okay. Because that, to me and you, looks like rubbish. There's a few little bits on there that some finches would have a go at. But the lovebirds will absolutely annihilate this stuff. They will absolutely love it. And if you have a pair, guys, these are absolutely perfect things to get them going for breeding. Okay, they'll peck off a piece of this, say so like the end there, they'll just they'll break it off and then they'll shove it in between the feathers at the back and ruffle it in and then they'll, they'll just be sticking out. And that's how they carry it around, that's how they carry it around, so they're not less box. The top tip peeps, you must keep these for your um, little birds. I wanna go and put them in the ivory. Because our zebra finches build nests with them. There's some others here after as well, so we'll pick up these ones. They let them all up from yesterday, so... Is that a broccoli that will move? The same with that. Let's get this to be water out. I obviously spend a lot more time in here, guys, than I make out in my videos, but... Um, if I was to stop in here all day, you'd be really bored. So I'll try and just do the highlights a bit while you guys are with me. And when I say guys, when I say guys, I mean guys and girls, okay? It's just a thing I say, I don't know why I say it, I just say guys, and I mean guys and girls. So I don't think I'm in sexy as well, I mention all you ladies out there, because I do, I mention, I mean all you ladies. I'm gonna get hoovering for a minute. So what birds do you guys have? What birds do you guys and girls own or keep? Go ahead and tell me down below, I'd love to know. I'll just go in there and just give it a go on wood. This is a really old hoover. So we haven't used the best one out of the house. I'd actually get shot if I was to use the best one out of the house. But we've tried all sorts for um, nesting. Uh, not nesting, for the, the, the floor of the, um, the little cages. We've tried kiln dried sand, newspaper, uh, cat litter. I'll just, I don't bother anymore. The presentation is stuff. A nice bit of paper on go with The presentation. If you want to be perfectly correct. Yeah. See, that's how we do it. Just a little bit of that. There we go. So that's good to go. Relatively clean. We're not going to get, you know. Well, remember, guys, they are birds. They do like, they do like foraging around and stuff. So, um, and they're not in here for long. Don't worry. These are dowel perches. They're not, uh, they're not in there for that long, so don't worry, my friends. Me, you guys always tell me, I oh, know you are right in saying this. You say, oh, um, you should use natural perches. And yeah, I, I do. They've literally just come out of that aviary. Look, and look how many natural perches and stuff. But I couldn't, you couldn't get more natural in the world than that. It's got a heat lamp ready to go up there, everything. It's got two nest pans. Although the diamond doves and the canaries don't use them. 
And I could say it's a new one, look. Uh, your choice. I used to hang these up. I used to bother and hang them up on the toilet cage and the inside of cages. Personally, right now, because I go through them that fast, they're meant to be like a treat, but I use them as a staple part of their diet. It's really good for them. They're like sweet, apparently. They're meant to be quite sweet for the birds. Like a little treat, if you like. This is the white Chinese millet. You get the red one as well. The red one's exactly the same, but red. Obviously. Um, so, yeah. I'm just showing you how I do one of cages per day, that's all. They're ivory birds, don't worry, they're flighty. They've run out of egg food down there. So I'll just sound again, we will fill up their egg food. I keep all sorts of bits and bobs kicking around, so... But I hope you like these videos, guys. We've got some great feedback so far about them also. Um, I hope you do like them. I enjoy doing them. And I thought I'd film them because I do these jobs every day anyway, so... So I got some seed. Of which they'll probably need more tomorrow. In fact, we'll do that right now. It's getting some today. It's not, we could leave that. That's good for about two days still. As long as you blow the husks off the top. I'll tell you what I haven't got, the missing iodine block. They chucked it out the other day, there it was. Their iodine block. They love having a munch on that buddy. I'll well. we'll just either wedge it in the side there or, that'll probably be on the floor tomorrow, but. That's it. Pretty much good to go for a day. Oh, they need some greenery. I'll put in some kale today. We'll give this another maybe day. It starts going a bit really limp. But they still enjoy eating it, guys. So I'll tell you what they love as well. And people will shout at me. But they love, love, love beetroot. Now, if you've never fed a budgie, or a love bird for that matter, but, but I know budgies for a fact a little bit. If you've never fed a budgie, love, um, if you never fed a budgie love birds, we'd normally cut that. If you never fed a budgie beetroot, my friends, oh my god. I should do it one day. I'll buy some. I can't buy some. I promise you I'll buy some and I'll pop it in the man over it and then they can just go to town. Especially blue. Because they look like they've massacred something. They get the red here, in the blow here, the red, all down the top. They literally look like they've just murdered 15 birds. But they love it, they devour it. You don't have to do anything with it, you don't have to cook it, you don't have to do anything. Same with sweet corn, guys, just raw, straight out of the supermarket, or your local store, go and get one, just pop it in. Best to keep them off the ground or pop them in a little um, a little pot or something. I normally, if I have sweet corn, guys, it's not the season here in the UK right now to, to go and get sweet corn, it's actually quite expensive. I think it's £1.75, I just look for two corn on the cobs. Um, let's have like a medium size, so. So, yeah. So they've got some greenery, okay, and they've got some seed. They've also got some meat spray, some water, some cuttle bone, some EMP egg biscuit, or well, you get some other type of egg biscuit, some grit, you can get different types of like grit. That's proper bird grit, but you can just give them sand, grit, oyster shell, there's loads of different types. Like iodine block, you can put the iodine block and do that in a solution that you can pop in the water, but I think it's better for the beaks if they actually nibble on something. And their head always hides, she's always in here though. <laughs> There's no red, there's no red, there's nothing else. So there's just a bit of shoulder in there. But they're getting close, guys and girls. They're getting close, they're getting, they're getting friendly. You have to give them time. They're getting friendly. There you go. But guys, I've rambled on for ages. I haven't even covered half the stuff, but I will see you guys again tomorrow. I didn't even show you the rest of the chicks, but if this video goes on much longer, um, my computer will take forever to upload the thing. So from me, Oh, they're starting to kiss now, uh, budgies. They'll be having chicks soon, everyone. And that'll be fun. Um, we could do with a lot more budgie chicks, actually. We've, we've not been successful this year with budgie chicks. But anyway, uh, guys and girls, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Make sure you also subscribe by hitting the little red button and turn the notifications on. That's the little bell icon next to you. Just makes you aware when one of these videos goes out. And I'd hate for you to miss one uh, because of all the important information that we have got stored in this. Not in my fingers, my noggin. Which I recorded over many years, says the man I've taken. Okay, ladies and gents, take care, and I shall see you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>